He was like, I'll be there in 20 seconds. I was like, you better get here. Or, and then he, no, he said, is it Saturday? It's Saturday. Oh, let's see. There we go. Is that good? There we go. Let's see. I was like, you better be here. And then he's like, I'll be here in 20 seconds. I'm like, well, if you're going to be here in 20 seconds, why, why are, you, are you even calling me? Because that's what Chad did. I know, seriously. Okay, we're filming. How does that look? Oh, God. I literally Aiden, don't... how does that look from over there? Uh. <laughs> if you get on the list. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show Chad more. Oh, well, nobody wants yeah, that. Yeah, no one wants to see that. Nobody wants that. <laughs> well, how's that? Yeah, better. Is yeah, that better? I think so. Kaylin, do you want to switch chairs? You know what? Oh, ouch. Oh, did you just hit your head? I, no, I definitely, I ran into the wall. Kaylin ran into a door in high school one time like this. Oh, I totally did. And like, how does that literally look? literally gave herself a black eye. I did. I cut my yeah, face. Okay. The worst is when you step your toe on the, oh. on the furniture. Oh, that is good. Okay. All right. All right. Do you want to switch chairs? Because I'm going to look like a tiny person and you're going to look like a giant. I like this chair. Okay. Um, is there, is that what chair taller? What chair did I sit in last time? Oh, look, so here's another chair. We yeah, chair. use that if it's not, if it's empty, but it might. I think, it, I think it's Dawson's chair. It is. Can I take one of these chairs? Oh, good, yeah, this chair's right there. Okay, so this I'll put up for Amanda. Hey. Aiden, do we have an extra whatchamacallit? Because we're eventually going to have like right. two more people. I that one right here, like the one the speaker is, is, is not working. That's okay. Where do you think I should put the other chair? These chairs are so fat. Right there's fine. Or behind you, wherever you want. Am I videoing? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to the Bad Blonde radio show every Saturday at 10 a.m. It's always fun prepping beforehand. Your headset, right? These are, yeah, these are mine. Uh, we're, uh, does Chad bring his own? Yeah. So just another, I guess. Setup. Chad brings his own. I bought him some for his birthday because I'm a nice sister. This birthday? Yeah. Wow. I oh, know. You trying to look like a better sister than me, bitch? Why? I, 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 I am trying. I'm I wish my sister. I wish my sister got me presents. I didn't get him presents. When is your birthday? April third. Dude, oh. your birthday passed. You didn't let us know. Oh, look, look at this cool guy. guy. Look at oh, cute guy. Eh, eh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I think I got like a minute. Hold on, let me do. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Chad. Did you know I was coming, Chad? Or are you mad? I wasn't mad. I warned him. No, I didn't. What's on your little still pink bag? There's nothing on it. No, I said what's in it. Oh. That's his. That's his briefcase. Got really 30 seconds. Because he got 30 seconds and the music comes on. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll take yeah, that fine. 30 seconds. I, I, I am mad about it. I didn't research, so go ahead and talk. Oh, we're just going to, we're going to fly by the seat of our pants. Oh, this would be the funny one. I'm good looking. Hey! Hey, we could talk, uh, it's, uh, Josh Bagley messaging. Josh Bagley? Yeah, so this guy, that's the guy, he has an Apollo. Chad, how many white claws did you bring? Because I need one. Right. Unless you have an assistant. Lies. <laughs> no, I guess you don't right. got problems. <laughs> Unless we have an assistant. If it gets hot, we'll close this. Wait, Chad really didn't bring any white claws. Okay, All right, thanks, Aiden. A rock and roll. Huh? Yes, Kelly goes to make A kid here, Chad. You can turn. You can adjust the volume if you want to. So wait, Chad wears his sunglasses. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello, my friends.
Queens, you are listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS 1448 and 98.7 FM Corpus Christi, Texas. And today is a very good day. I got my co-host Chad Shook in the studio and Kalia Kaner. Now all these are my siblings. I don't know why I'm calling them by their like real names. Should just call them jokester and jerk. <laughs> Okay, nice. uh, no, it's not. It's all right, though. Yeah, I don't identify as your sibling. What do you identify Yeah, I know. Why don't you elaborate on that other? No, I didn't really think that through. <laughs> Chad, I don't think you're allowed to chew gum while you're on the radio. No. Nobody knows I'm chewing gum. Dude, I, I hear you hear chewing gum. gum. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Aiden, could you hear him chewing gum? Yeah, that was a thumbs up. Okay, the last time, last the last show, I kid you not, we come back from break and... Beaton turns on the uh, turns on the mics and Chad's like this. <laughs> I was like, dude, everybody like the five listeners we have heard you inhale. <laughs> it's okay, but I hope you took that gum out. <laughs> Did you? I will. <laughs> this y'all are already on my back. All right. Well, Chad, we're gonna go around the table. Why is it a good day for you? I don't know today, but that's a tough one today. It's sunny. Looks like it's going to be a nice day, so no more rain. Yeah, it is sunny. Thank God. Callie, why is it a good day for you? It is a good day for me because my four foster puppies did not destroy their pen last night while they were sleeping. So I had an easy cleanup this morning. They did not wake up covered in like total. No. So guys, they're getting cleaner. Callie is like a glutton for punishment and a very kind soul. She is, this is her second round of foster puppies in the last year. And the puppy, everyone, oh, puppies, puppies. But puppies poop a lot, guys. A lot. Everywhere. And, and it's usually liquid. Like, They're not, it's not a solid form. <laughs> it's yeah. so, it is so hard. to. And these are doodles. Yes. And many of you might be, let's, this is a good time to plug yeah. Forever Rescue. Yeah. So really. Forever. Um, Chad I just threw, spit out his gum. Good job, Chad. Yeah. We're really happy about that. Yeah. Let's talk about Forever Rescue for a little bit. Because they're United Rescue. Different. Yeah. I was going to put it on the table. I'm glad you did not. I hope, Bob, I hope Bob Jones is listening to me. Right Bob now. Jones was going to get mad at me. <laughs> Don't piss off that cool cat, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so I foster for Forever United Rescue, and they're an amazing rescue. Um, they really are. Yes. So uh, they do a lot of, I mean, they do amazing work. They pull different animals from animal shelters. So I've not only fostered puppies, I've also fostered. Uh, different age groups, which is wonderful. You did, so yeah. Rewarding. Scarlett was yeah. Uh, a year or two old, and she mm-hmm. went off. Where did she go? Did she go to Oregon? I or? think she went to. I think she went to Portland, Oregon. So mm-hmm. that's what's nice about Forever. And Forever United they, Rescue. Why do they send them to different states? Because um, the northern states are less populated. There, um, we have an overflow of animals. Yeah. Uh, South Texas just they don't spay and neuter their dogs I uh, think. unfortunately a lot of our population do not believe like they i'm not sure what the stigma is or whether it's la- uh, there's whether it's lack of resource or not believing in it but a lot of folks do not fix their animals yes. it's a big problem it's like, a huge problem because animal i mean the, the the litter i think that they had i have four of the puppies there's another three so there's seven puppies all together and so these animals are doing different litters all throughout the exactly and yeah so anyways um they they go up north mostly because of that there's just there's more need for the dogs or there's more demand for the dogs but um the four puppies i have are adorable they're so they're precious so cute but there is a lot of work involved with them it's hard to keep yeah. puppy doodle doodle puppies and these are doodles Please. yeah yeah they are not courteous about where they go or whether they walk in it. And Neither am I. They're really, they're really <laughs> every, whenever I'm cleaning it up too, they're really interested in that. They're like, oh, what are you doing? I'll walk through it. Is oh, that my own face my face in it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's, yeah. it's a wonderful group. Um, they do amazing things and it's been really rewarding. Even though it's a lot of hard work, it's been extremely rewarding because um, one of the nice things also about fostering um, adult dogs is potentially they've been on the street or they've been in bad situations. And so you're kind of, you're taking this dog that's probably fearful of human beings and exactly it becomes, yeah, it, you, you humanize it and it starts to love um, humans and then it's adopted out and has hopefully a wonderful family so very rewarding yeah well uh if anybody what's their facebook page if anybody wants to maybe if you want to foster if you want to support maybe open your wallet 
open your heart, whatever. Mm -hmm. Forever United Rescue. Yeah, Connie does a lot of good work. That's your the main contact that you've. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's the one that generally reaches out to me and is like, "Hey, <laughs> and I'm you like, want another set of puppies?" I know. I'm like, "Sure," and then my husband's like, "Oh, again." <laughs> so not just puppies. But... I fostered a mockingbird. Oh, uh, we did. should talk about your mockingbird. No, so there was another one in my backyard. You had another one. Yeah. Chad raised a but mockingbird, time, guys, at one point. This time I was like Trump Jr. I have, a, I have a neighbor who's very fond of cats. Yeah. And cats are very fond of birds. Yes. So I see this little mockingbird and I was like, oh man, I'm just going to put it in the tree because I don't really Aww. want to foster another one. And its okay, parents you were raised right there. it. The parents were right there watching it the whole Aww. time. So I was like, I'll put it up in the tree and see how this goes. I'll keep an eye on it. I walk my dog out there, put him in the backyard. He doesn't eat birds. But he protects him. He's a bird protector. Is he? Because I've seen Jesus kill some. Literally kill a rat in midair. Yeah. I, I was making he's that. like the Michael Jordan of rat killers. I was making that part up. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh man, man. I was like, excited. I don't I believe could... in that. So then Jeezy ate the bird. No. Chad. No, I didn't. Okay, good. So I was, my the, face dropped. <laughs> so like, it's a little fledgling or whatever. It's sitting there, like, just, you know, not saying anything, hiding. Aww. So I see it and I'm like, oh. I try to put it in the tree. It chills there for a little bit and then jumps back out later, I guess, because I see it on the ground. Uh, but his parents are still there, so I'm like, well, we'll just try this one out. Yeah. Uh, naturally. And uh, How did that go? The, well, over the course of, like, five days, I've been watching it and its parents, and they've been chilling and feeding and everything. Oh, this is still going on. Well, yeah, now it's flying Aww. around, and now it's like, oh. a, now it's an adolescent mockingbird and smoking pot and... Get it, making get bad running with decisions. the wrong crowd. Yeah. Oh, that's so, super so yeah, sweet. So yeah, it's pretty cool to watch that. Oh, that's special. Yeah. So, we're prove it. Photos, man. Why yeah. have you been sending your fan? You know we love this, this stuff. I mean, I did take a picture, but I can't. Why is this a person hearing of this? I can't show I it on the radio. Well, let's talk about Trump Jr. Your uh, mockingbird. Well, his name was Statler. Was it Statler? Yeah, he was one of. The, he looked like one of them. Those old man. Oh. Weapons. 100% he did. So Chad had, I don't, I'm not sure what, I don't remember how it happened, but Chad ended up, you know, there was a baby mockingbird that Chad hand fed, raised, brought him to the mechanic shop daily. Um, Only because he would have died because technically it's illegal to have a mockingbird. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to do this, guys, but if it's for the life of the, if, if the bird's going to die elsewhere, think, like, you know what I mean? There's a line with legal and not legal. <laughs> But, I probably wouldn't have got raided, but if I didn't help that bird, he probably would have just died. Well, I'm fast. not exactly doing a legal thing. I raised my wild roof rat, and I didn't release him. So we're a bunch of lawbreakers, a bunch of lawbreakers around here. I did. Well, I couldn't help it. I love. I like how we're like. This is a car radio show, but now we've just it's talked about really the animals we rescued down. and saved and Different rehabilitated. Avenue. Well, Ratty, aka Master Splinter. It is the fattest, happiest rat in Corpus Christi, Texas. I'll tell you that much. So I got a text message. Aiden, is, am I about to go on break or can I go into this like very long, heartfelt story about my wild roof rat that I raised since it was a baby <laughs> until now? <laughs> can anybody hear you on the radio? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I like it when you participate. <laughs> Guys, Aiden's got a haircut. It's only a week old. Looking and good. He's ready for hot boy summer. Yeah. Any single ladies want to talk to Aiden, text us at 882 Eight eight two five three nine seven. 5397. 882 5397. Dude, he's working out, guys. Aiden is like full force. Party summer on 2021. Yeah, I'm going to. It is. I'm excited for summer. I'm like an adult woman ready to rock on summer. Are you? Because I'm ready to stay in my house a now, little I, bit more. Now I'm, now I'm a recluse after I was, last year. I was going to say, that being said, I did not leave my house after like the entire Memorial weekend. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. yeah. I was just like cleaning and relaxing and petting my animals and chilling <laughs> like a villain. Hot girl summer. Planning what you can cook in your Instant Pot. You are the Instant Pot king. Oh, yeah. Nerd. My risotto. I have never used my instant pot. My mushroom pot. risotto. My risotto. Yeah, hey, that's just cheesy rice, bro. I'm scared of it. Like, what? I don't know. I'm scared of the instant pot. That I love instant pot. The steam will hit but me I, or something. Chad uses the instant pot Facebook group 
as like a we're a community like an open yeah. mic night of comedy <laughs> every once in a while it'll pop up on my facebook that like it's like chad made a comment on this da, da, da. and i'm like you um, goofy mofo <laughs> there's one other community that chad got really invested in and the rap ball appreciation yes. page that's <laughs> it I, I I'm the one. I literally sent out the Brat Ball Appreciation pa Facebook page to twenty people that I thought would get it. That page probably got so many new. They're like, "What happened? Why did I have this new what? user? What? All of these new there's, like followers." There's been an influx. It's because Caitlin Shook is over here. Like, I I, I get it. Rat balls. They're a thing. All right, Aiden. I'm sorry. You telling me to wrap it up, buddy? <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. We are talking about rap balls. <laughs> I don't know if you should end it like that. Legally, not going to be on the radio anymore. I know. <laughs> I think you're allowed to say that. Can we talk about rap balls? Aiden, am I allowed to say rap balls on the radio? Yeah, you can say that. You can say balls. <laughs> um, I think they're outside, but you oh, want them? Yeah, let's let them in. Why are they coming in an hour? Yeah, well, uh... It's 920, uh, it's like 918 right now. Yeah. I'm fine with whatever. It's 10. They can't come on with the ice. Yeah. share that microphone. Okay. Dan, you're going to have to traverse. I'm going to just that dive. Way and get over here. Okay. This is Chad. We'll get you Chad, another Dan. Dan. You know Amanda. Hey, but I don't, I don't know if you've ever met Dom, Amanda's husband. Okay. Probably. And Dom hey, will be in. I don't think your head's gonna be in the camera. No, I think okay, let me run and get the champagne. Yes. <laughs> if the and music I have another... starts, Chad, you know what to say. I have another bottle on the back. It's all of you. So I had to make a decision this morning on whether to drink coffee or take a shower, and I chose to drink coffee, so deal with it. No, don't worry. Oh. I, I put some um, uh, dry, dry shampoo? shampoo in, and I was all, Kayla, I'm not putting mascara on. She's all, Kayla, put mascara on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the radio. Barracuda. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, you can let the music ride. It's not. No, no, we're not. We're not on yet. Yeah, turn it on. Uh. I'm like 100% going to get a text message from Doug like, hey, you need to like calm it down on the drinking. I think you're about to go on him. Okay. So when both of you talk, mm -hmm. get like that yeah, far you away. Get pretty close. Get pretty close. Okay. I'll have to get close. Lick it. You got to lick oh, it. Oh, I should not have just run. Oh, <laughs> shit, right? Is it real? Yeah. Is it real? It's fake. This is what Kaylin used to be. All right, all right, my friends. You are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS, 1440 AM, 98.7 FM, Corpus Christi, Texas. And I'm so excited. I have two very special ladies that are popping out champagne bottles as we speak. I have Deanne Bouquet. Who, am I saying it? It's Bukin. God, uh, I always think I got it right. A few more years, maybe you'll get it. <sighs> I literally, we had a conversation, but it was during happy hour, so. Yes. Uh, okay. Anyway. I've been shook before. Yeah, oh, she was shook. shook. She'll shook, <laughs> shook. Of Bucket Works Advertising and Chair of Heels and Wheels, a very, we're going to talk about it, guys, and Amanda Horn, one of my favorite sexy Texans who works at the South Texas Art Museum. And has, I mean, I hope you were, you were listening to the whole cat talk and the dog talk. And oh, and her. the mockingbirds. Oh, yeah. No, I, she's an animal lover, fellow animal lover. 
And I'm going to talk Amanda into taking the foster kitten I have now. He's a polydactyl tabby. He's <laughs> adorable. We're going to need more champagne. <laughs> yes! All right. No, we need really. all the champagne in the world. Callie's foster kitten. We've been on all like, somebody we love is going to get this cat, and it's going to be nice. Let's pop some champagne, and let's talk all about heels and wheels. I am so excited. Uh, guys, this event is going to be probably the coolest event Corpus Christi, Texas has ever had. Yeah, every year. Totally. Fashion. The best. Drag, all of it. Y'all are going to do a lot better of a job talking about it than I am. Deanne, let me let you uh, take it away. Okay. We're throwing <laughs> a party, is how I like it's to say a, it. You really. We're throwing a party. And this isn't your first party to throw. You've no, chaired this how many yeah. times? This is my third time to chair this event because I like this party. It is a, like, it is, um, a party put on by the Art Museum. Oh, wait. We're going to pop a bottle. I'm going to put my work computer yeah. on. <laughs> Champagne time. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> this is a party we put on every year uh, just to have a really good time. Um, it's a fundraiser for the art museum. It's always a different theme. It gets really funky and fun. Yeah. And we just want everybody to come out and have a good time. It and does get funky and fun. fun. This theme really hits my heart, guys. Oh, you're all, your name's all over. <laughs> I know. I was. I felt. I was so flattered when y'all asked me to see. I was like. Oh. Yes. Who else? Who else would we ask? <laughs> well, I don't know anybody else. I know you didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, you But I don't know what an MC is. I, I haven't seen you, you pick, take a job. picture by a car in heels yet, so. <laughs> yeah, you don't fit the description there, Chad. I have some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> hidden away, hidden away. So, uh, I got, okay, this, like, I'm going to fangirl moment for a second. So, at Heels and Wheels, we have Jackie Vinson performing and she is like the Jimi Hendrix of our era for sure like I just like you her her ability to play guitar is mesmerizing I posted you know a little thing about like oh heels and wheels coming up I'm so excited she commented on it I lost my shit mm. oh. I'm allowed to say that right Aiden no. that's one of the <laughs> okay no I'm not allowed to okay Ooh, my fizzles me. darn it I sent Amanda a this isn't what you're not allowed to say you're not allowed to say certain words and then here I am breaking it I Go read ahead. your hand it was very helpful I'm trying very hard what not to curse what is written on your hand no. don't oh my god don't say it <laughs> oh my god I almost just jinxed you so bad <laughs> all right let's keep talking more about the event Yes, well, it's a mixture of not just some really awesome music that's going to close the night out. We're also going to have a drag show, Ooh. a car show, Ooh. and a fashion show. Woo! And then if you're in the VIP area, an open bar. It's experiences on experiences. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. To totally. tingle all the senses. Amanda, you, you've seen the Luster exhibit. Now, the Luster exhibit was what kind of, what this was what got this, uh theme rolling correct tell me a little bit more about it it's the less and don't be scared to get real close to the microphone really even though it mic. might smell That's like okay. somebody else's mouth it smells like orange juice <laughs> <laughs> good thank god every once in a while i'm all like smells like coffee so luster is a beautiful exhibit we have in the museum right now it is um photorealistic art so it's, it's so amazing. it's so amazing and uh, people i Every time someone's up there, they're like, oh, look at these photographs. I'm like, those are not photographs. Those are paintings, but they're done to look like photographs. It's all motorcycles, cars. Some of them are just really cool close-ups of like a yeah. gearbox or something. Yeah. Um, it's great. And that kind of spurred this year's Outrageous theme. Yeah. So if I got any car, you know, obviously the only people that listen to this show are car fans or people that have nothing better to do. But if I got any car fans, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Make your way to the South Texas Art Museum because this exhibit, I've only seen it like, I got a, a like printouts of what, what, what they are and I was just amazed by it and I've only seen them in tiny like two by two inch, you know what I mean? It, and they just look spectacular. Callie, you're taking a really long time for these horses. Really, how did y'all, uh, she's crafting. How has y'all's recovery gone from the, from Harvey? Yeah, uh, yeah. Dolphins flim swimming in the, the bottom floor. Uh, <laughs> that was Hannah. But Hannah, yes. Yeah. Oh my God, it was Hannah. It was Hannah. Hannah you know, you know? and you know, beaches. Hannah came ashore on July 25th last year, which was my 40th birthday. I got a hurricane for my birthday. That's my girl. <laughs> Me too. Ooh. Amanda and I share the same birthday. Yes. Birthday twins. And a lot of other personality traits. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's going well. We, you know, we had several inches of salt water on the first floor of the museum. And it That's was a, wild. It was a major cleanup effort, but we're pretty much back in action. 
Cheers. All right, we Cheers. finally Cheers. Chad, did you get your mimosa? I just counted. I don't know how. Oh, this works. <laughs> the more the merrier. And it's going to go with my rum and coffee. Really D- well. Doug, mm-hmm. I promise we're not drinking that much. Every once in a while, Doug will be like, hey, just don't drink too much on the show. I'm like, hey, sorry. <laughs> That's it. Better to ask for forgiveness. Live radio is a lot more live with mimosas. <laughs> Y'all probably have no uh, part of it, but. What about the Nodder Garden? That's what I call it. Oh. I call it the Nodder Garden because there's Never. no water. In it. You're so hip, Chad. I know. I, like yeah. that. I, that I was like, I'm going to call it that. Okay, they have no, I mean, I'm gonna we let, don't. We don't. We have, have no control, control over, over it, but we have a very close working relationship with, you know, the city council and the city manager, and um, they put the repairs out to bids, and Good. we're told that by next April it will be functional, and I believe it. I believe it. All right, you know, honestly, uh, Peter Zanoni gets things done. He does. Like, he's, he does. If he says it, he's probably going to have it. It really doesn't have the sparkle when there's no water. Yeah, I, I remember how magical the water garden when I, was when I was a kid, you know? Like running in it. Yeah. That may be part of the problem, too. Yesterday, I watched a small child pick up one of the little square granite pieces that, you know, they got, got and yeah, because they're loose. They got this lot. Yeah. Oh, he actually took it. He <gasps> didn't just pick it up, he ran and put it in the back of his car, and they drove off. I would murder him. Well, it's a forever Need that memory. granite brick. Yeah. Yeah. That's Jerk. It's a corpus. What a piece of... <laughs> I would just like to ask that nobody let their babies and their diapers run around in this like the others. <laughs> the yeah, yeah. water fountains that we have in Corpus Christi. That's more of a cultural thing we need to work on. It's a good hose down. That's, a, that's nice. <laughs> Right. Cool off down there. It's not bad. So y'all are going to use that area. Like, that is a runway. Right? So it might not have water, but it's still going to sparkle. It is oh, going to sparkle. Enough. It's oh. going to be full of diva sparkle. Yeah. I'm so excited. It looks like a, a very poor runway to choose because there's no. like bricks all between it. They're, in the middle. They're going to do the edge. Oh, okay. okay. And we there's... actually fence off the middle part so drunk people don't fall okay, on it. Okay, so it's like... That's, oh, that's I a good see idea. A lot yeah. of problems happening with yeah. the, the middle section was the runway. Yeah. <laughs> let's, Obstacles. Let's yeah. okay. Chad's gonna keep talking about that. But <laughs> I want to keep talking. The music's playing. Aiden, this doesn't feel like it's been 15 minutes, buddy. Just because you have a brand new haircut. All right, I guess we gotta take a little break, guys. Stay tuned to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. We are talking all about the upcoming event, Heels and Wheels Art Rages. It shouldn't there be like a flashing sign? I never pay attention to Aiden, and I'm sorry. Like I never pay attention. He's all he's all. <laughs> I know, and I was like, and I'm all, you hearing the music. I wasn't hearing anything. I, I know. Oh, you heard the music? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I was I like a little bit. Are your microphones it, are your headphones working or has it just No No, now I can hear. It's just okay. it's this so one you, side. You, the right side. Oh, you know what Aiden did say one of them was broken. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna try not to get that sidetracked again. We'll keep talking about wheels and wheels. Mm-hmm. All, what were, do we answer all of your questions about the water garden? The Nodder garden. Nodder garden. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you just spoke into the microphone. Like, can you say it again? It's a good it's a good habit. Uh, it gets hot in here, so we just yeah. The door. There's not an actual. Oh, there is a vent, but no. But how long has the water garden been? Not functioning like so eight years. years. Man, Four years. One of my favorite childhood memories was when y'all's Boy Scout group did like that, like Indiana Jones themed thing oh, yeah. at the water oh, garden. Oh yeah, it was amazing, what, what? and it was running, no, it was and like a... it was an obstacle course. Oh, it was just like what was that? Cute. That was uh... glorious. And so it makes me sad that it's not. What was that? That was the Boy Scout big. They had a big. Jamboree. Jamboree. Not, not a jamboree. It was. I don't really know what a jamboree is. So I just. That sounds right. Like, like boy sounds right. That's all I know. The jamboree was like nationwide. What was it? I don't know, but it was a big deal because they like they had this like whole like setup of you know like an Indiana like, Jones obstacle course. No, I mean it was all the troops from everywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a jamboree. Yeah, I know. No. Anyways. But whatever. Like the whole time out had the ride in theater yeah, and never was, worked, so that was years. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, it was never on. Yeah, I brought it's been just so I yeah. could like Nick Perez fashion show and then the names of the queens. What all do we want to hit on? I want to talk about the costume. Or talk about yes. the costume. Talk about buying tickets. Don't be scared to take the microphone yeah. and run yeah. with it because it clearly. And what about what we people can end up, should wear? Yeah, that's what you know, yeah. People, yes. people do want to know what Some, to wear. Um, and it's bullet points. And yeah. keep nailing Aiden, down. Aiden, do you want a mimosa? They can find sure. my ticket. Sure. Ticket, ticket. All right. Ticket master. It's only one. So. 
for us. Mm -hmm. right, thank you, thank yeah, you, thank so you. I literally went around and counted everybody twice, and then I miscounted <laughs> twice, I guess. Well, it's a weird, interesting combo that I'm doing here. Yeah. I, <laughs> what I do you like got? your combo. I got uh, iced coffee and rum here. Party oh, on, way. Yeah, I should probably I didn't tell her y'all had 10 minutes the last segment because I have to play the hard out at 29, 10, 29. So, yeah. I'll let you know next time. Okay. Don't, don't worry. I don't know any of that radio time. talk. She's not going to pay attention either There's way. The next break's a soft out, so around the 47 mark. Around there, 47, 48, around there. Cool so, beans. But then the one after that is 1059. Just, just throw me a hand signal that I'm not going to see. Dom might see it. I have no idea. <laughs> like all the time. You can kick yeah. yeah. All, all the time. All the time, Aiden's like. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he's dancing. Yes. Like, y'all y'all don't be scared guys? to take the control of where we're talking and what we're talking about. Because it's easily. Why would you just direct it at them and then let them start following with the you can prompt us with questions. Um, Gerald Flores, you know, Elena Flores, so Bonita, her husband oh. does taco gear. I love that. And so I saw it. And it's I was kind like, of perfect. I need this hat. I need mm -hmm. it in my life. Y'all don't let me forget. At the end, we're going to take a photo. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't let me forget because I do forget. <laughs> like every, every time. Yeah, I throw that F bomb out the trash. I saw you almost do it. It's easy to almost curse. Yeah. This well, is a very yeah. dangerous medium yeah. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now it, I said I told when they had been they were like, hey, do you want to do a radio show? I was like, man, I got a potty mouth. Like I don't. I said let's pre-record, and they're like, no, no. you need to do it live. And I was like, oh. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> not been that bad. Okay. Put your headphones on, folks. All right, all right, my friends. You are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Talk KEYS 1448 and 98.7 FM. And we are having a hellacious time. I have two of my favorite people in, and we are talking all about the Heels and Wheels Outrageous event. I have one of the chairs, Deanne Bouquet. Oh my gosh. Did I get it? No. Golly! UK. 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 It's like beautiful the hard, bouquet. The hard thing is I've always tried to say bouquet. Mm. Like mm -hmm. a bouquet of something. Well, you just slow it down. And <laughs> I have Amanda Horn, who does, you, I mean, you basically, you run all of the events at the art museum. I am the official cat herder for the art museum. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're like pushing ropes. Yep. You're herding cats. I'm herding cats. What are some of the other sayings that are good for that? I can't, well, I'm captain of the bleep show. Captain of the bleep show, because I can't say the S word. <laughs> Good. That is so good. Oh, good that job. Took me a second. Too long. I know. Too long. I know. I'm really in love with the bleep. Too. <laughs> I mean, like, we're gonna have to work on the bleep. Oh, bleeping uh -huh. bleeper. <laughs> so, is there is there a lot of drama at the art museum? Art museum. Museum. I'm sorry. Oh, that's Ooh. a that's a. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Chad, you can leave. Now. You can leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad Chad. But I like it. Are there a lot of fights or? Well, what's, no, what's no. Going on there? I mean, every Tuesday the staff just gets together and rumbles in one of the galleries. That's how we get our stress out, pretty mm -hmm. much. No wrestling. Bare knuckle boxing. <laughs> exactly. Ones. Exactly. No, it's just logistical stuff. You know, when you when you have a bunch of people in a room, and you're throwing there's you're alcohol. throwing weddings too. Oh yeah, like, I, I do private events, and so there's always you know something. There's not a more frightening event than somebody's wedding it's true like they are, that is supposed to be their best day especially of their life. for the dude <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> wait boom, we all just heard it like this <laughs> all right no literally before we, while we were on break guys i was all, all right we need to keep it on track folks we gotta stay talking about heels and wheels here we are not talking about heels and wheels <laughs> it's so easy to do all right let's talk about the event i'm super excited i'm emceeing guys if you're listening and you want to listen to me some more, well, I will be talking <laughs> on June the 10th. <laughs> Not the whole time. How attractive was that? Was that a big sale? <laughs> I heard that there's a 50-50 chance that Alan Holt will show up. I love that. Oh. It took, I know, it took. <laughs> Last uh, last Saturday, I was talking about it, and I thought, like, "What does that mean?" And he's like, "You know, he's a meteorologist." And I was like, "He's a weather metallurgist." I was all, "You smart Alec." <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. And uh, now we all got. I mean, I I had I was prepared to to get that joke. 
<laughs> I had already, it had already been made on me. So All right. has that worked into your script for next Thursday? Oh, I should. Are yeah, sorry, working? she's going to have to steal your joke. He's my writer. Yeah. Chad's my writer. <laughs> Caitlin's going places. Um, yeah, you, just, just you need like a Mainly like to Circle tons. K and CGB. <laughs> Stripes, dude. Laredo Taco Company. Places like that. Like Not like Hollywood know. or anything, but... No, nowhere like that. Definitely going places. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. If you're tuning in, what we're talking about is the Heels in Wheels outrageous event. And this is the most outrageous event that goes on in Corpus Christi, Texas. I have such a silly good time every year that I'm actually a little downtrodden that I have responsibilities. Like, I'm going to have to get on a microphone and not make myself look like a, a weirdo. Well, actually, There's you can no look like a that. weirdo at Art Outrageous. Yeah, because everything's perfectly outrageous. welcome. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. There's Out gonna... of the box at Art Outrageous. I love it. There's going to be a fashion show by Nico Perez. There's going to be a drag show from some of our late our local talent. And honestly, most importantly, what I'm really looking forward to is a live performance by Jackie Vinson, who is the Jimi Hendrix of our era. She is. She's just an unmatchable talent. Like, there is nobody. I saw her 2020 South by Southwest. It's just, she's mesmerizing with what she can. And then the guitar, so she's a guitarist, guys. And her the guitar was not her first instrument, all right? She first started with the piano, and she decided to, like, she's a classic pianist. And then she decided to go into playing the guitar. And she's just magical. She is magical. And if Jackie is the big draw for you to come to Art Rages, that's the only reason I agree to MC. Really, <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I know. I'm hurt. But so we are going to be raffling off tickets to win a signed guitar signed <gasps> by Jackie. And wait, How there's much more. Are those tickets? There's more. I feel lucky. You also get a meet and greet with Jackie after the show. So you get a guitar signed by her and you get to be in her presence. How much are these raffle tickets? Well, you know, buy? I am only an event specialist and I don't remember. And I just texted a coworker <laughs> to find out how much they are. Which coworker did you text? I see your play. I texted three coworkers. I love that. Who do you think is going to answer first? Ooh. Hmm. What are the three coworkers you texted? Well, I texted, I texted Sarah, Jessica, and Kirby. And... I don't know. We we've, we've kind of been going all morning. So. Give me Sarah's phone number. Oh, I just want to ask her. Who was it? Who was it? Kirby. Kirby responded. Kirby responded. What'd she say? She said they're ten bucks. Oh my gosh, that's a steal. Bring a hundred. Yeah, huh? I know. Bring a hundred dollar bill. $100 yeah, your bill, tickets. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Your okay. tickets. I want that. I mean, I don't know how to play the guitar, but I'm it's not gonna look real it. pretty. You, in your house. you took my guitar. That Which, is at your house. I tried. <laughs> Like, I literally committed, like, a, 10 minutes a day. I was like, I'm just going to learn. I asked for a guitar, a dirt bike, and a trampoline for Christmas, and I got the guitar. Last year or when you were 12? I wish you yeah, had I was like, how bike. old were you? I mean, this was, like, three years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. And I got the guitar, and it was really sweet that I got the guitar, but I never did anything with it. What I really wanted was the dirt bike. Yeah. But we, what about the trampoline? The I wanted the trampoline too, but I've I've done that to myself before and gotten a trampoline, and then you jump on it for like two minutes, and you're old, and you're like, never mind. Yeah, that's not good for the back. <laughs> no. I was gonna say, no. Callie, you're at a point where the only thing you got going is your face. We didn't want. To <laughs> oh. Well, I appreciate that though. Actually, <laughs> I'll take it. We got you the one you're you are least likely to kill yourself with. Yeah. I would like the dirt bike this Christmas, please. Hey, if my husband is listening, you will have a good year. If I get a dirt bike. <laughs> but you'll have to take care of her when she's in a full body cast. Yeah. So. yeah. And you'll probably have like four foster puppies at the time. So it's like a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> Tons of responsibilities. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm so just about it. <laughs> how many drag queens are performing? We are going to have three drag queens and they're going to do. They look of, like so many more. Well, they're going to do two performances each. Are they, they have different personalities? Um, I think they just kind of stick with the, the one, but they do different themed sort of performances. And the reason it looked like so many is Can you sneak me in there and nobody will notice? Oh, totally. <laughs> totally. On any given day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Like, this is going to be... The, well, the whole... The, the whole... The vibe and the setting. This is going on outside the art museum in the American Bank Center. Uh, it's by the water gardens, which there's a pathway in between the not working walk water gardens. The Notter Gardens. The Notter Garden. Peter's I don't know he's gonna fix them. If he says they'll be done by April, I believe he'll have them fixed by April. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That guy's the Terminator <laughs> of tasks. 
The Terminator of Tasks. The Terminator of Tasks. That's cute. And so, like, y'all are going to have, like, light projections on each of these buildings, and there's going to be music and an open bar if you buy the right ticket. Yeah, you should the right the, ticket, the golden ticket. Buy the host where ticket. where can we buy the tickets? So, general admission tickets are available through the Ticketmaster site, and you can get to the Ticketmaster site through American Bank or through the Art Museum. Um, I don't exactly know, you know, the Art HTML. Museum of South Texas. Art Museum Museum of South Texas. Org. I was going to say, then, potato, potato, man. <laughs> people can Google, right? They can Google. And then if you want the golden ticket with yes. in the VIP section, and, you know, we've been talking about the open bar in the VIP section, but I think we also need to point out that they're going to have the good bathrooms. Mm. Well, good and, bathrooms. and tacos that go with the good bathrooms. Tacos that go with the good bathrooms. Mm -hmm. That's like hand in hand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Air conditioned. Yeah. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I outrageous. That, that Can is. you just upgrade to the good bathrooms for a lower price? <laughs> Depends no. on you know. Palm Deanne's hand with a little uh, extra grease, you know. Yeah. Now, somebody, Come find me if you want a fancy bathroom. If somebody goes and makes a break for the good bathrooms. <laughs> Do y'all have security to stop them? Amanda <laughs> will be standing right there. It'll be me. I, yeah. <laughs> so not today, sir. Not today. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I hadn't even thought about that until now. So thanks. I'm going to stay up all night wor worrying about that now. I would, I would recommend a baton. Mm, yeah. yeah. Like a shiny glitter one, though. Like. As, yeah. as long as it's like metal. Yeah. Or metal if it's work. the bathroom, it's serious. A taser. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I like how a little electricity. Song. It looks cool. It's part of art. You know, I'm very yes. arty. Mm -hmm. I have one. I like how we're all like, it. we're encouraging Amanda to have weapons, but like if you've ever, if anybody knows Amanda, she can scare you with just her words. Well, a baseball bat is always really, comes in handy with you. In her facial expressions. Mm -hmm. It's true. Like nobody messes with Amanda. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. So when does Jackie start performing? It's okay if you don't have an answer. Just making sure. Um, Jackie, Should we do a shout out to uh, all the folks at the art museum that you're texting? They better be listening. Well, they better. <laughs> they better. <laughs> I was going to say jerks. I wasn't going like, to say anything bad. It is bad. Saturday morning. Is I'm it pretty over? sure they're all recording it on their We're all tape. in our 30s. Tape. We're awake at like 7 a.m. on a Saturday. I was awake. I was awake at 6.15 this morning and I wanted to sleep in. I'm I, old. You had puppies to take care of. I know. I'm old because a, a leg cramp woke me up. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. I actually slept in this morning, but my coworker Kelly dropped off tacos on my doorstep at 7:36. What a saint, Kirby! She's a saint. Beautiful. I was like, beast. where? There's a taco fairy. What happened? And I checked the ring camera, and it was Kirby. Aww. I know. Did she just do that? I don't she's know. An I have a sister that does that for me. So you're Aww. making. She's on the radio. I know. She's. Could yeah. be getting tacos. Yeah, I yeah. am extremely disappointed in my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Your neighbor just steals other people's cats. <laughs> yeah, this is. Which I kind of. Uh, I think I'm gonna move. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna move. I. That's me. Like I'm that cat stealing neighbor. Caitlin actually, like one of the cats she had, she told the neighbor, she's like, I'm going to take it, I'm going to raise it, you know what I mean? Let it get older. Then Which it, I intended to do. And then she gets it. <laughs> is this the cat you tried to get it's me Rizzo. months ago? Or is this somebody? It was like two months ago, you had just found a rescue cat and you were really trying to sell me on it. Or is this the cat? It sounds that, like something I would do. Okay. So yeah, I don't know. It was probably cat. Renzo. No, no, no. Caitlin kept him. I had four foster kittens at the start of COVID. Is that what it was? No, I almost kept them, like, two glasses of wine in. I'm all like, I don't care about, about what society has like, to say. She's I'll like, keep they, these cats. If they all stay together, it'll be like, and I was like, oh my I, God. Honestly, like, there were, I was like, I make a good paycheck. I can afford these cats. <laughs> Wait, was that group of foster kittens when you went all, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy and had to break through your bathroom door? Yes. Oh, I yes. did have to break through my back. I, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. They had locked, they had, like, they had, like. Hopefully had, you're not that good of a foster kid. <laughs> If they're locking you, they're, they're locking, locking her out. It was the day before they went to the Do Humane Society them, to get adopted. Did they you knew. Beat them? <laughs> no. Thought about it. No, nah, they were actually really good babies. They were so sweet. They really but were. Anybody that needs to like capture a cat or do anything with a cat or make the cat love you, wet cat food. Wet cat food. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's Ugh. where it's at. That's what people. That's what they love. Like you need it. Mm -hmm. 
You didn't capture a cat? What cat did? Well, what happened, what Amanda's talking about with that door was hilarious. Like I had just, I just done laundry and I folded all my towels real nicely. I put them in the hamper or the, the pant, whatever the, the cabinets. And if the cat, I didn't close it fully. So the cats got in there, dropped all of the towels, which made the cabinet door stick against the door handle. And I could not open it. And I had no exterior hinges to like remove the door. I also could not take out like the the door knob facing me. I could not, there was no hardware access, so I couldn't take it out. I literally had to break down the door and I did. And, and, the then, cat, and then they were gone the next day? It felt, no, it, well, I know. It felt very Jack Nicholson shining as. And then she had to stare at this hole in the wall for the bathroom. And that's the hole in her it wall. Was, <laughs> it, it was great for dates. It was like, <laughs> they're like, oh no, that was just on my cat. Don't oh, worry. That helps too on the date. <laughs> what happened to your guest bathroom? Well, you see, I fostered I four kids. It involves a lot of cats. It does, it does. All right, Aiden's giving me the old wrap it up. We got another 15 minutes coming up, guys. Y'all stay tuned to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. We're talking all about the Heels and Wheels outrageous event going on on June the 10th. This is just flying by. I know. So we've got to talk about the costumes. But okay, yes. let's yeah. cat. Everybody, let's stop. Cat. I'm digressing. I'm let's so cat. Cat. We're so <laughs> Hold on, I want to talk about my polydactyl one more. Stop. <laughs> like, literally, out of nowhere, I'm all like, we are digressing. It is. Well, and then I don't want to get grab it and then find out, like, as I'm talking, you're like, ooh, we got to end it. Yeah. So that's, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, like, I'm going to alley who. Do I have a timeline here? Yeah. That's yeah, that I was wondering. Ooh, like, I, I don't know. know. I mean, I know logistics. I, I think Jackie takes the stage at nine. It's at seven thirty. Well, seven thirty is when it's the start. So it's the show begins. First, uh, it's fashion show at seven thirty to like eight, and then um, we drag want people show. In, in at by seven thirty. Yeah, we we originally were going to open the gates at 7, but American Bank said it was too short of a window, so we're going to open at 6.30. Oh. So the gates open at 6.30. They said you want at least an hour before any, any activity starts. Oh, this is so, nice. We got people wait, asking. Questions? They're asking questions? Are they asking about the cats? And you, I want Caitlin, I want you to talk about the cars a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know nothing about Oh, I totally meant to do that. I yeah. like forgot. Because people were coming up to me uh, yesterday when yeah. we were at Art Walk asking what cars, and then there was somebody who was offering to bring, they had a 1948 Chevy truck that was black matte, and they said we could use it if we needed it. I, was like, I wrote down her information. It's it's a curvy. Curvy. I just, I'm not sure what the lighting is, so I've been trying to pick cars that are vibrant. Good. But eclectic. So we yeah. have two new Corvette C8s, which look really like futuristic. And then we have on the other side of the spectrum is a, a split, is a VW truck, like the yeah. vibrant turquoise. Uh -huh. And then um, we have this lilac purple Mercury. Really excited that about that one. And, that really. um, and then a 32, oh, we're up back. But yeah, I need to, I totally forgot. I need to talk about that. And then I'm going to hand it over to you. Okay. All right, my friends, you are back listening to the Bad Blonde Radio Show on News Tip. New, K-E, I already dropped it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chad, go ahead and take it for me. <laughs> News Talk 1440 Keys and Yeah, it's not that easy, buddy. Understand. News Talk K E Y S 1440. Chad, you did a good job. And if you'd like to call or text us, go ahead at 882 You got to remember that phone number on the top of your head or else you don't get a pat on the back. Kaylin, you're a little it. negative. What? <gasps> yeah, I'm going to put it out there towards Chad. Well, he's Chad, doing good. Chad always says what I do is easy, but it ain't that easy. <laughs> you should write things on your hand. Yeah, no, I should. I really should. <laughs> Guys, we're talking all about the Heels and Wheels Outrageous event. You have any questions, go ahead and text us at 882-5397. See how I just said that without looking at it? Good right. work. I know, Good I work. know. Um, but I want to tell you, so this is a car show. It's a drag show. It's a fashion show. And it is a live performance from one of our most talented guitarists, I think, today, Jackie Vincent. All of this is accessible. Just entry tickets are 50 bucks. all right? If you want VIP, which means open bar and air conditioned bathrooms and tacos and food. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference. 150 bucks, which honestly I can make a hundred. I can 
people as make well worth that. It. I, I'll make money on that. Like <laughs> 150 bucks for an open bar and tacos. I will eat $300 worth of tacos immediately. Well, we're going to put a limit on you. So. Yeah, it's, yeah not, you should, <laughs> it's not all you can eat tacos, but it is all open you can bar. drink open yeah. bar. Yeah. But you will get a sufficient amount of tacos. Challenge accepted. So I, yeah, I was really flattered that y'all put me in charge of curating, you know, figuring out the car show. Where the cars are. Oh, uh, well, there's actually a car czar around here. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's, darn. It's Peter Kinder. Mm -hmm. Hi, Peter and Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Callie, could you Sorry. Me? <laughs> My Callie chair. Really? Come on. Callie's chair makes fart noises. Chair. Could you quit making those noises? It was very quick. It was my chair. It was my <laughs> chair. So who we have, and I really appreciate the owners and their cars, you know, I've been thinking about this. So we have two, we, two of the C8 Corvettes coming, which those are a piece of artwork and they're a big deal for Corvette because there's the, it's the first mid-engine production Corvette. We have the the Bone Steels bringing their C8, and we also have John Frost of X-Rap, Premier X-Raps, who is also our uh, one of our judges for the car show we had for the radio show. And then we have the Pierces bringing their 1932 Ford, which Ooh. I yeah, it's it's a beautiful car. And then we have Daniel Cole bringing his Mercury. It's a lilac Mercury. It is just so pretty. What is lilac? It's, it's a purple. A perfect purple. I see a lot of drag queens taking pictures in front of that. There's a little lilac yeah. in her, her oh. cap. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, there's some lilac in, in Amanda's hat for sure. And then also we have Nate Gershon bringing his Viper. Nice. And then maybe, unfortunately, I reached out to Andrew Flores to bring his McLaren because he and his buddy Randy Webb have these two McLarens that side by side, they look like beautiful dancing butterflies. You know what I mean? They have the scissor doors and it just looks so good. Andrew's going to be in Austin. I'm sad about that. I'm still waiting on whether Randy says yes or not. I'm hoping he's listening and he'll say yes. I think he might be out of town. But they have these like uh, Skittle green and blue McLarens that just pop off. You yeah. know, if you need one more car, we have a mint condition Honda Fit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did not know Honda had need it. a need car it. called Fit. <laughs> I love that. Hey, did you say mint green? Well, no, I'm mint condition. Like, oh, like, okay. I was like, mint green? Oh, my goodness. What other color would you get a fit in? <laughs> so tell us a little bit more. Like, how can folks get tickets? How can what they find out more information? So any information can be found on the Art Museum website. And also you can call the Art Museum at 825-3500. And any of our wonderful staff would be happy to answer questions for you. You can also find ticket information on the American Bank Center website. Fabulous. Now, there are folks that probably have never been to an Art Rageous. Yeah. What? How can you sad, describe sad. that? It is sad because it's like such a crazy fun event. How can you describe? Somebody that just now showing up, they want to get, for this art, for heels and wheels, they want to get dressed. What should they be wearing? Yeah, that's the biggest question we get. What do I wear? And it's not mandatory. I'll put that out there. But one of the ongoing um, or themes of the events that we've been doing or one of the things that we've always been known for is a costume contest. So it's always an eclectic, very different theme. And it's they're always a thinker because it's yeah. the art museum. What is your perception? What do you think of when you think of heels and wheels? Your interpretation. Yeah, your, right? your interpretation. We want to see what that is and who blows us out of the water will win the costume contest. And... That winner, their name goes on a plaque on this really awesome statue, or I guess piece. It looks like an art piece yeah. that is in the art museum, and then you get two tickets for your next, the next art rages. So it's well worth it, and it's super fun. So how do you win the costume contest? Get creative. Uh, some of the ideas that I've been trying to go through, trying to figure out my outfit, is also I don't want to be a poser. So what am I good with? I mean, I know how to ride a bicycle. You can go the bicycle well away and put on a helmet. And some bicycle yeah. gloves and put on your spandex, you've got a costume. Uh, you can go motorcycle, you can go car, you can do race cars. When it comes to the cars, you can take any any sort of path there. So when it comes to wheels, just what wheels are you most attached to? And that's where like, always my starting point and where yeah. can I go from there? Exactly. So some of the verbiage on the invitation referenced polish your chrome. 
And so that's my inspiration. Wink, wink. And I'm gonna be. Wait, you're giving away so your. I'm just. I'm gonna be super shiny. I'm gonna be super shiny. That's it. That's I am it. shiny, shiny, shiny. Mm -hmm. A shiny, happy person. I don't know. <laughs> wait, it, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Is Nick Perez? But am I wearing something from Nick Perez? Or I'm not I sure. I'll have to double check on that. I mean, I, am I like red? Ooh. Okay. If not, then I'll probably wear something very ZZ Top Kelly Bunny. I like it. Mm, oh, that's got some socks that going. will go with that ZZ Top look. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so Deanne got me dressed for a photo for Valentine's Day and I didn't I didn't have the faith when she started picking on my outfits. Uh and then it turned out to be like one of the most liked photos I have on my bad blonde cars I love Instagram. That. And we had tell them about tell them what your inspiration was. And then we can talk about how I was being a little whiny baby about I was like, I don't know. Well, really, my inspiration all it was around is I was loving the sheer short socks that had <laughs> ruffles or decor from, from them. like Easter Day, mm -hmm. like when you were five. But I was yeah. feeling it like the classic legs video from ZZ Top. She had socks with those heels, and that has always stuck with me as a yeah. kid. And that is just such a vivid image to me. So when those came out, I was like, yes. I don't have the legs for that, but I knew somebody who did, so I was gonna get those on Caitlin. <laughs> and when she was like, she gave me the the look, like, oh my gosh. And then she kept telling me, you can have them when I'm done, because I'm just gonna do them for the picture. They're hers now. I she loves them. I fell in love. I was like, all right, I take it all back. These are kind of fun. They feel real good. Rocked them. They look great in them. them. Maybe that's what I'll I'll, I'll see. ZZ Top Ooh. that whole legs uh, video. That's your inspiration for an outrageous outfit. I never understood right there. that song. <laughs> She's got she, legs. She knows how to use them. It's like everybody can walk. Oh no, there's only certain people that really know how to well, use their legs. Can't walk, but Those are games. Walk. Maybe he's comparing them to newborn fawns. But I think the oh, rock yeah. and roll route is sort of where I went. Is um, again thinking about cars, different bands that involve the cars. There you go. So and that's my inspiration. And that's the beauty. That, that this is the art. Museum. It's a fundraiser? Museum. Museum. Yeah. There you See, go. You almost said center again. I know because I get them confused. This is the one at the Nodder Garden. Correct. Yes. It's I a big get the art one. center and the art museum confused. The art museum. You should not. There's not. It's not comparable. I'm easily confused. Well, the art center is still really fantastic. It's, yeah, I know. The art it's, museum it's just is the very one different. Uh -huh, very different. Down in the by the American Bank Center. Yes. Yes. The building itself is a piece of art. And this event is going on June the tenth, next yes. Thursday. Next Thursday. If, well, if, this coming Thursday. It is. It's like quickly approaching. And I just want a few things real quick. Yes. Since we are talking about heels and wheels and costumes, we are actually not recommending that anybody wear heels. It would probably end badly. Yeah. And we have a rain plan. If it rains, we're still partying. Are you going inside? Going inside. Yes. Buy your tickets, guys. This is going to be one of the best experiences Corpus Christi has. And it all goes to a good cause. It's going to the South Texas Art Museum, which is a gym in our community, without a doubt. All right, guys. Thank you both, Deanne and Amanda, for coming You're on the show, welcome. sipping mimosas. I can't I wait for Thursday. I know. I, can't, I cannot wait either. It's going to be, like, ridiculously fun. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Bad Blonde Radio Show. We will see you next Saturday at 10 a.m. Good job, guys! Yay! Yay! That was so fast and easy. It really, yeah, no, it goes super fast. Somebody's going to text me and be like, you need to, like, turn it down. Um, like, you always fired. get feedback. <laughs> they, don't, they don't pay me, so, like, they can't fire me. Y'all are really getting a good use out of these cups because every time I drink with you, this is what I'm handed. I was well, 2020. Yeah, I so. rewash it. Dishwasher. I'll save the planet. You know yeah. what I mean? But like, also, you have like a oh, huge yeah, no, stack no. of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Liz Alexander gave like a everybody yeah, yeah. big chunk. Well, I just like this is now. I know my go-to when I'm drinking with a shook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. It was great. I feel like we did keep circling back to the event, <laughs> and then coming back, and then going back, and then going back and forth. Good Should job. I leave the alcohol bottles in the trash can here? Do <laughs> evidence? I don't mind it. Chad yeah. always doesn't want Bob Jones to see it. Bob knows we party, man. There's a trash can right outside. So we had we have a fair amount of texts. Cool. Uh, we had somebody asking if there were Porsches on the exhibit. Somebody said, "Whoa, well, I mean, that, uh, that was a hit." You on did Cali. a really good job of answering those texts, too, Kayla. What do you mean it was a hit <laughs> on Cali? Who said that? But the only thing you have going for you is your face. 
Yes. Oh, oh that boy. was really mean. I thought it was funny. <laughs> That's the yeah, I don't know. <laughs> No, that was a joke about, you know, why we didn't get, you didn't. Yeah, earlier in the show, you did say that she was a really kind person and had a good heart when you were talking about her fostering. Exactly. So I feel like you, you evened out really, really. You got to knock it because a sister can't just put the yeah. good stuff out there. And it's like, let it. come on, I don't want her to walk out with well, a giant head. Exactly. I'm already married and he's stuck, so I don't even <laughs> care. You know what I mean? Like, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> and we talked about that joke. I do and be what I want. <laughs> take note, honey, take note. You're Literally, stuck. poor Brett's like, oh god, you trick me. <laughs> no, you you're just keeping him. it real. You did trick him though. <laughs> I was all like, at the my uh, maid of honor speech, I was like, jokes on you, Brett. Thanks for that, Kaylin. Great maid of honor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> taking notes, taking notes. Somebody asked if we were live. Are y'all live today? I'm like, Does it they not- asked at 10:59. Yes. Does it not sound live? Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm so, all like, <laughs> you know, it's, blah, 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 blah. you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny. It's also one when I was in charge the of the text number. Was what? Getting text. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you right. wonder if that's a compliment or like a cut down. Like, are you live? Like, is that because you're really, really good? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just take it as a compliment. Compliment, right? <laughs> no <laughs> way, y'all nailed it. But who knows? Like, the clerk, the clerk takes poll this morning in Baku. He's talking about Formula One racing. Yeah. What is the text on you? I need to give you that because you're going to like it. Honestly, guys, like, I'll make up shit. Like, I'll be like, George just texted and he is having a wonderful <laughs> day. He can't wait to hear about blah, blah, blah. So do you remember the old Texas country radio 94-7, like jalapeno country? I think so. So I was used to DJ for them, and they had their morning DJ was Daddy D, and he would always talk about, Daddy. it's a beautiful morning. I'm looking out the window, and I see the goats out in the pasture. So when I started working there and I went to the studio, I was like, there's no window. There's no ghost. There are no he ghosts. He lied every single morning. I was just like <coughs> so pissed off. I was like, I can't see ghosts. Like, that was just like doing. shtick every morning. It was fun. <laughs> when my dad was a DJ he, for a station and he wasn't a morning person, he would go in, he had the early morning shift put on the longest album he could find, and then go take a shit for 30 minutes. Respect. And then come back in, and he's like, all right, and I'm back. <laughs> and I have heard the t- And, and he was had a little bit more energy. And I'm feeling much better. I'm, feeling I'm much a little lighter better. today. I get it, because sometimes it's rough. Yeah, well, Saturday morning. remember how we were talking about Miralax? I had the 10 a.m. Saturday yeah. morning Guess what too. the vet prescribed for one of my dogs? Oh, you're a little right, bit right. of Miralax in their stuff. And I was all is like, that <laughs> Hey, well, all of this is going on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Right. Yeah. Tell me more about the Miralax. Right. I'm not going to give that to a cat. Right. I, I guess I will. She's like, I took my dog to the vet because she's been weird. And-